Today is a great one for me, it's an incredible day and I'll tell you why, because it's a Finland day. Every man's right in Finland. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction, let's go. Every man's right refers to any individual's right to travel throughout the nature regardless of who owns or holds property rights to the land that they're crossing. Huh. In Finland, every man's right apply to almost 90% of the country. So wait a minute. Every man's right to... to so 90% of the... Does that mean you could just walk anywhere? Does that mean you could literally just walk into someone's front garden and just have a picnic? <laughs> and be like, well, it's my right because it's every man's right to walk wherever I want to walk. Is that true? Kind of cool, kind of like a bit like, mm, trespassing. Uh, so do you have any trespassing laws? Like someone like is like literally standing on your land. You can't tell them to leave. What if someone wants to set up a tent? I've got so many questions, guys. What if someone wants to set up a tent on your farmland? You can't tell them to leave because it's like every man's right. That's interesting. That is very, very, very interesting. I'm guessing it doesn't apply to like governmental buildings and all that. She said 90%, so I'm guessing there's parts of Helsinki you probably couldn't do that in, but it's good in a way. It's good in a way. It's good in a way, I would say. Only the government can designate an area that is exempt from every man's right. That's what I thought. For example, an area used for military training. Well, yeah. Yes. I'd like to know what you can do. You can walk, ski, and cycle freely, and of course, except for other people's yards and okay. the land that is specifically used <laughs> for cultivation. Ah. You can also set up a temporary camp at a reasonable distance from homes. Interesting. So you can just set up camp wherever you want as long as it's not someone's house. That's cleared it up or someone's property. Interesting. Could you just like, could you just build a home wherever you wanted? Does that make sense? Can you, because if you can set up camp and whatever, like away from a house, can you just build a house as, as a finished resident? Could you just build a house wherever you wanted to build a house? That's an actual question. I would like to know. <laughs> You can also pick up the berries, mushrooms, and flowers that you find in the forest. Yeah, you can do that. You can UK use well. bodies of water for transportation and other activities. So this also applies to ice-covered water, especially during winter. Okay. Three. We're not supposed to cause disturbance or damage to other people or the environment. Interesting. That is very, like, um, nuanced, isn't it? You can't interfere with other people, the environment, birds and animals. What is classed as interference? It's very vague, isn't it? Even though they're saying, like, you can, you have every man's right, but said you can't interfere with nature. But every, everywhere is nature outside. So that's, uh, hmm... Do you know what I mean? Tricky one. We're not supposed to cause disturbance or damage to other people or the environment or disturb game animals or birds during their breeding season. Okay. No cutting down or damaging the standing trees. That's understandable. Let's not let's not destroy the environment because we've already done, already done enough of that around the world. That I'm glad that's in there. I'm glad there's a clause that says, listen, you cannot damage any nature. Especially trees. We need trees, man. We need trees. Do so, you know, living in a city, because at the moment I'm in a city, um, I miss, because I grew up in the countryside. I'm from Yorkshire in England, which is green. Very, very green. Lots of farmland, lots of trees. And I remember growing up and the smell and the feel of, of like the smell of, 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 of nature and trees and the air and the way the air smells and tastes and feels is kind of almost like a sweet, fresh taste and smell and feel. Does that make sense? There's, there's, there's nothing like it when you're in nature. When you move to a city, that air 
smells and tastes different, mate. <laughs> it's, just, it's not good. It's not good. And you can feel it in your lungs. It's not good at all. Um, so we can't be having people chop, chop down trees because we need them. We need them to clear, clean the air and, and uh, we, we just need them for survival. We really do. Also, no littering in the forest. The important thing is no fishing or hunting without the relevant permit. Both in Myanmar and in Singapore, we have similar every man's right for what not to do. Okay. But we're not allowed to take anything from the forest. There is even a slogan that calls, leave nothing but footprint, take nothing but pictures. All oh, right, leave nothing but foot. I love that. Leave nothing but footprints, take nothing but pictures. That's a cool slogan. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in England, we're allowed to pick fruit. Like um, when it's the summertime, end of summer, we have an array, a massive amount of like blackberries. Uh, blackberries, uh, sometimes I see raspberries, but mostly blackberries. We have loads of those, especially in the south of England. Even in London, I lived in London and they had, there's literally like, you go to a park and there'll just be like blackberries everywhere and I used to go pick them and I used to make jam um blackberry jam and what else have I made with it a pie have I made pie no crumble I made an apple crumble and I put some blackberries in um yeah I just love that that's something I do miss about home I'm going back home I was sp speaking about home a lot England a lot because I'm going back to England very soon in the next probably six months five to six months i'll be back in england and that makes me excited because obviously being back in england leads to me visiting finland visiting the nordic countries and i cannot wait so i'm just getting it's just like the channel is now like there's a bit of energy building up because i'll be soon i'll soon i'll actually get to see finland in the flesh and actually try the food, experience the culture, and just be there. And I'm just excited for that, so yeah. I digress though, yeah, berries, we can pick berries. <laughs> I am really looking forward to this year's summer in Finland. It's gonna be my first Finnish summer since I moved here. And I'm also looking forward to go camping in this beautiful national park called Nuxio. You then, Mr. Lowden Delta. Mate, I can't wait to go to like explore nature in Finland. I just wanna go, I just wanna put on my boots. I've got some hiking boots. Put on my boots and just walk in nature in Finland. I bet it's so peaceful. Oh, I can't wait for that. Yeah, that's gonna be so good. Yeah, <laughs> I just can't wait. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just looking forward to going and just visiting. I just feel like I'm gonna fall in love with. I think I'm gonna fall in love with the entirety of the Nordic nations, like every single country. I think I'm just gonna be like. Do you know what? I wouldn't be surprised, guys. Don't be surprised if I just end up moving to Finland or Sweden or Denmark or <laughs> Norway. Don't be surprised. That could. I, me, I'm a very random person that could entire, entirely possible to happen. That could happen. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I will see you very soon.